The human body and life being too easy, it doesn't do well. It wants to butt up against something in life. And so winter serves multiple purposes. Those people who hate it are benefiting whether they know it or not. And uh, what I wanted to do was give people who are moving here a sense of what this world is and people who live here a sense of their own identity. My, my feeling is it is so intimately connected to who we are, we don't even know it. We don't know how much it shapes us, molds us. We don't know how different we'd be if we didn't live here. And everything I found in terms of books on winter were books about winter survival. And it's 2023, and I think we're done worrying about surviving. I think we know how to get through the winter and actually still breathe in April. My thing was, what's our relationship with the season? And my hope was that the book would get you to think about having one in whatever way that is. And the one thing I did not want to write was a book about getting out there and snow skiing or cross country skiing or snowshoeing or hiking. If you love that, great, but that's not what this book's about. A lot of the people who love winter in this book never leave their house. <laughs> they, they love the way it makes them think. They love what it does to them emotionally. They love the way they go inside and change kind of how they look at life and philosophize. They love to periodically just cocoon and not have to go out into the world. They love that it's dark at 4.30 so they can say, hey, the day's over. Pour a glass of wine, I'm done. It's nine o'clock in July and they feel they have to be busy and they don't want to be busy. They just want to relax. And winter gives you that ability to relax. And the other people would tell me it slows down time and time is moving too fast and they need winter because it slows the clock and they want the clock to slow down. And I would talk to people who would light candles at breakfast and talk about this magical moment every day in the dark having breakfast in January to candlelight. And people who would sit in bars and watch snowfall with a glass of wine and just be in heaven, the feeling that would come over them. And then there were those people who it was and is a nightmare they have to work their way through. And it's a third of our lives, brothers and sisters. It dominates the calendar. If it is living hell, you have got to move. Corpus Christi, San Diego, San Bernardino, Miami. I mean, there's another place out there for you. I was born in the north, and here's where I'll die. And let me tell you the reason why. I've been down south. And it was all the same. The weather there was a little bit tame. Some people like their weather mild. I like mine a little wild. So I hope you understand why I'm up here in the Northland. Where right now I hear the drumming, and you do too, winter's coming. So let's welcome it. Let's welcome it. It's giving us. Just give me a little bit of... Winter's coming!